what up? Welcome to the impossible to cheat soda challenge. It's ta soda taste test. One of my latest videos was Coke vs Pepsi speed run taste test. Okay, went well. All, thought it was all fine and dandy. That was until I posted it on TikTok. It was pretty successful but the comments were tragic. So as you can see, I've got bottles instead of cans because one big thing people said was, oh, you can just tell by the can. Another thing that I saw in comments was like, oh, well, it's not that impressive. Either way, it's just a 50-50 guess, you know, two cans and you're right, you're right. Look, I'll admit that. I knew that from day one. It was a 50-50 guess. So today we're gonna do three cups of Sunkist and three cups of Fanta and I have to guess all of them correctly. That cuts the chances down to this amount. I'm gonna do the maths later on and give you a number here, or maybe not. Now, so that you guys know, and by the end of the experiment, we know what the uh, what drink is in what cup, I'm gonna put a little letter on the bottom. Another reason why even if I could see through my contraption of a blindfold that I've got here today, I wouldn't be able to tell. Now, I also have proof, camera proof, that these are both the same temperature. Look at the fog. Look at the fog and look when I rub it off. Exact same, same temperature. But you know what? It doesn't matter about the temperature because I've got insulated rubber gloves. You could have a rock of dry ice in one hand and a rock of lava in the other and not be able to tell the difference. Some people thought I counted how many rotations this thing would do. Uh, you know, I, I could see through the bot, all whatever nonsense they come up with, you know, there's always gonna be naysayers. While the fan is spinning with six cups on it, that's probably not gonna go too well. I'm gonna be listening to Save With Jamie on repeat while I recite Pi. We've got a double blindfold. Gonna be putting this blindfold on, which is far more uh, advanced. That's not how you say that word, but we'll carry on. It's far more advanced than the last blindfold, and I'm also going double layer with these goggles because a big thing about blindfolds is people think you see through the bottom. Because I go like this, that's just a comfortable position, all right? With these, I can't, it's gonna be blindfolded and then it's also gonna be, I can't see through this, look, it's plastic. So, that brings us to the last addition to the impossible to cheat soda taste test challenge. That's not a challenge, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's a challenge. Peg on my nose. Now, this is partly because I thought it would be, it would make a good addition to the thumbnail. I don't think smell would really affect this. Nonetheless, it's time to get some sort of something happening here. It's been a lot of rambling. All right, let's just get these cups full of liquid and it's all gonna be at the exact same height. Yes, okay, relax. Oh God, this is elite. This is actually what I'm talking about. This is what the people, oh, that's a bit much. That's right, it's, it's honestly close enough. Okay, that's the Fanta done. Now you can see they do actually visibly look different. A little bit, not much actually. Now that I think about it, not at all. All right, there we have it. There's the, oh geez, I almost spilt that one. It's time to get this bad boy into position. It, this doesn't exactly sit flat. Let me get something to make this work a little bit better. I could be wrong here, but this could be perfect. Honestly, perfect. How, why am I such a genius? Losing the sight first is necessary, but also very painful because now I need to figure out where everything is. 3.141590634277330020 pi, zero pi, zero, one, three, two, one, zero. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, that is surely enough. They're, they're well and truly mixed up. And I don't want them to spill, because that would be a catastrophe. Peg, just so I can't smell, that hurts a lot. Oh, with the insulated gloves. You know what, I'm actually gonna get rid of the peg. Because that is, I don't think smell is really gonna make a difference. Now this is gonna be the challenge, because I don't want to spill these. <sighs> All right, let me, okay. I'm gonna grab them off on the top. All right, that's six. Get rid of this. That's a relief. You know, that thing's a great idea for its job, but it is scary. All right, now it's time to taste. I, I just I just can't get a gentle feel for where these cups are without the glo with the gloves on. I 
Okay, I've got one. Oh, I just remembered I brushed my teeth about 30 minutes ago. Sunkissed. I reckon that one was Fanta. Sunkissed. I think that's I think that's another sunkissed. Fanta. Fanta. Yeah, I think I I think they do taste very similar. Feel free to go and try Sunkiss and Fanta yourself. Okay, good, good, good. We have a clear split. That's what I was a little bit worried about. Oh, that's a lot for the eyes to adjust to. Oh. Let's assess the damage. What do we got here? Okay, the first one is wrong. That's an S. Another S for sunkissed. If I, <laughs> if I got this, if this is a sunkissed, oh, that's an F for Fanta. Okay, so I got one right. So that means I got only one right over here too. Fanta, Fanta. Well, great. We got one right on each thing. It sucks, you know, that I predominantly got it wrong. I was kind of hoping to get it all right, you know, because the impossible to cheat, it doesn't look very good, does it? It doesn't look very good for me. You know, I did a challenge, Coke versus Pepsi, got it right. People said, oh, you cheated in these ways. Do this video, impossible to cheat, get it wrong. Looks bad for me back there, doesn't it? All right, well, that's it. That's the impossible to cheat soda taste challenge. I uh, hope you enjoyed and, and leave your comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Au revoir.